Hey guys, welcome to another Hunter video. I'm a Night Elf Hunter on the Whisperwind server and... Squirrel, get out of the shot. Get out of the shot. Get- I said get out! Stupid squirrel. Anyways, like I said, I... Uh, what was I saying? Night Elf Hunter, Whisperwind- Yes, Night Elf Hunter, Whisperwind server. And right now, I am in Darnassus and I'm gonna talk to you about playing the Azeroth market a little bit. And uh, that's more commonly known as playing the auction house. Now there are many ways to play the auction house and make a lot of money. Um, but I'm not gonna go into all of them because there are so many guides out there and just so many good ways to make money. But I'm just gonna tell you about the two simplest ways. One is to uh, play the world events to your advantage find out what people need to complete quests or complete achievements, find out the stuff that can be sold on the auction house and can be easily bought or found, and then once the event rolls out, put them on the auction house for 3, 4, 500%, maybe even more of the actual price, and people will buy them up like crazy because there's going to be a huge amount of demand for that item. And so just that's what you have to do. Uh, and you'll see yourself making hundreds, possibly thousands of gold within the first day. The other way to do it is by watching patch notes. And this upcoming patch, patch 3.2, you'll actually see a new change in the profession jewel crafting. If you don't know with jewel crafting, you could prospect raw ores and with these raw ores you can turn them into gems whether uncommon rare or epic and a new change that's come out in 3.2 is that you can prospect titanium ore and that's what we're gonna look into today now jewel crafting since it came out on my server at least it's put an interesting spin on the auction house now raw ores will sell for more than smelted uh, bars so let's say serenite ore will cost more than serenite bar, which doesn't make too much sense, but it does if you have jewel crafters. And here are the titanium ores. They're uh, 100 or about 17, no not 17, 9, 8-ish gold per ore. And they're usually before about 120 gold a stack. And even now, people have anticipated that they are going to go higher in price. And they've already started buying them out and hoarding them. So there's a lot more demand than there is supply. And so this is uh, some of the things you could do. Find out maybe not only titanium, titanium ore, what it is for this new patch, but for the next patch, maybe it's some other item. Keep an, an eye out for the stuff that is going to be in high demand uh, up in the upcoming patches or events and hoard them now. Now, uh, if you see something that is very good in price, whether you have auctioneer or you've seen them before, then buy out that sucker right away. Because uh, most likely if you don't buy it out, someone else will. And what I'm doing now is just bidding on it because the price is still quite high. What also you could do is during Monday nights, right before the maintenance, if something has a high buyout but a low bid, then bid on that sucker. Because uh, what most likely when you bid on it, it will go into maintenance and when maintenance no one can bid on it so you'll most likely win that bid and what happens then you save yourself quite a few gold to get yourself whatever item that you need and so it's a good idea to buy out some titanium ore right now whether you can use them later or whether you can just hoard them now and sell them all when uh, the patch comes out. I myself have about 15 possibly 20 stacks of these just saved up waiting to sell when the new patch comes out and it it's an investment it's a gamble it's a risk and sometimes you win sometimes you don't and I'm hoping that uh, I know enough about this so that I will get a good return on investment and so that's it for this video just remember play the market and uh, with experience you're set to gain a lot of money thanks for watching and till next time